Razor Blade. Initial report. Electronic copy below is per Federal Records Act. UIU file 1998-017. Codename Razor Blade. Summary. Suspect with irregular abilities allowing him to cut off and reattach body parts without adverse effects. Working as freelance industrial spy and saboteur. Currently believed to be in the custody of organization, the Foundation. Suspect description slash capabilities. Name. Unknown. Alias. John Smith. Irregularity cross-reference. American. Biology. Human. Spy. Physical description. Sex. Male. Height. 70 inches. Weight slash build. 160 pounds, medium. Race, Native American. Hair, black. Eyes, brown. Identifying attributes. Missing final joint of right ring finger. Capabilities. The subject is an average looking Native American male, capable of controlling body parts that have been cut off of him. So long as the body part is cut off, rather than injured by other means, the separation is painless. These body parts function as if they are still connected to him, and he has trained his muscle control to the point that he can use many small body parts in unexpected ways. Separated body parts can be seamlessly reattached at will, repressing them to the spot where they were cut off. Purpose slash motive. This individual appears to operate with a profit motive, hiring himself out as a spy and industrial saboteur, primarily to individuals and private companies. There is no indication that he has ever worked for or on behalf of a foreign power. Modus operandi. Individual carries a variety of cunning implements with him at all times, in order to remove body parts as necessary. Individual frequently uses small body parts such as eyes, solitary fingers, and the tongue in order to access locked locations via ventilation systems. Individual also uses larger body parts such as hands or intestines to kill at a distance via strangulation. Behavior. Appears mildly sociopathic, with little regard for the safety or welfare of other individuals. Does not go out of his way to injure or kill others, but does not attempt to avoid it, except as necessary to avoid detection during an infiltration. Fluent in English, Spanish, and Navajo, but frequently pretends to only speak Navajo when being interviewed slash interrogated. Primarily operates in the American Southwest, but has also been spotted in New York City and London. True name is unknown, but primarily uses the name John Smith or variations thereof. Evidence A. Human fingertip. Identified as belonging to the right finger of anomalous individual. The stump is sealed slash healed over. Currently alive and responsive to touch and temperature. B. Video footage. Copy of footage of first sighting of suspect, including use of irregular abilities. Bureau record. Current status. At large, location unknown. Crimes. Arson, espionage, industrial sabotage, manslaughter, murder in the first degree. Sentencing. Has not yet been apprehended for sentencing. History of UIU action. March 7th, 1998. UIU surveillance of building believed to be a research facility for Prometheus Labs in Flagstaff, Arizona, captures footage of suspect dropping a small package near a rear entrance to the building. 37 minutes later, the package is opened from the inside, and a human hand crawls into the door when an employee exits. An eye is attached to the top of the hand by tape. Neither the suspect nor the hand slash eye appear again during surveillance. March 9th, 1998. Large fire erupts in the building under surveillance, later determined to be due to leaking tanks of liquid propellant. January 17th, 2000. Minor Conspiracy Theory Newsletter, Inside Knowledge, publishes article claiming that the CIA is using secret Navajo shaman wisdom to create spies capable of dismembering then reassembling themselves. Special Agent McIntyre, who had been on the prior surveillance team, brought this to the UIU department head, who issued instructions for any agent who came into contact with the suspect or to immediately apprehend him. September 9th, 2001. Suspect was spotted outside UIU branch office in Dallas, Texas. He was successfully apprehended by agents despite suspect's usage of his irregular abilities. Persons later identified as members of the organization, known as The Foundation, broke into the detention facility overnight and liberated the suspect. Only evidence remaining is fingertip, later found behind a toilet in the men's restroom.